Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna be creating a palm tree nail using neon pigments. So I thought I'd press record on my phone, but I hadn't. So what I've done is I've put a layer of white gel polish onto our white tip and I've cured it in the lamp. So we're now left with the white gel polish with the tacky layer. I've got my fluffy glittery brush thing. And what I do is I dip it into my pigment powder and pat it onto my nail. Now I'm gonna start with the yellow and work my way upwards. We're gonna blend three colors to create the sunset background. So I'm just dabbing it on, patting it in, pushing it in, pressing, dabbing, whatever. Um, I like to pat and press more than wiping it on, if that makes sense. So I've just wiped off the, br the glitter, the brush, and I'm dipping it now into my orange, and we're gonna do exactly the same thing pat it into that tacky layer. We're gonna work it up a little bit, but leave some room for the pink. And then I'm gonna pat it downwards over the yellow to kind of create our blend, because we want all the colors to blend in nicely. So you can see I'm patting, patting away. <laughs> Then I'm going to clean off the brush and go into the pink. This is going to create the top of our sky. So same as before, dip your glitter brush in, pat it across that um, tacky layer, and then slightly work it over the orange to create your blend or your fade. The pink and the orange just blended seamlessly. It was just like, like no work at all just to for them to blend. They were just, oh, I love them so much. Why am I whispering? So we've got our pigment on. I'm gonna sort of just float over gently with the top coat. Well, that's what I thought I was gonna do. Actually, I didn't really have to in the end. I just sort of started to top coating it normally. And um, I don't know why I thought it was gonna dis disrupt, disrupt, is that the right word? Some of the pigment, but actually it didn't disrupt. I'm thinking of a word and it's in my head. But I want to say disrupt. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna top, I'm gonna top coat it and cure it. Now we're gonna paint on our palm tree. I'm gonna be using the black gel polish I'm using is called Jet, and it's a Gillet's gel polish from Essential Nails. I'm just gonna pop a little blob of this on my silicon paint mat. And to paint on the gel polish, I'm just going to be using my dotting tool today. So I'm going to paint on a white line. Now everything under that white line I want to be black, because that's going to be like the ground. So I'm just going to use the brush that was in the um, gel polish bottle just to cover in that area, because it's a lot easier to do it like that than what it is to try and fill it in with the dotting tool. Even though it's only a small, small area, but it's still quicker. I think it is anyway. So that it now reminds me of like a toucan the nail. I don't know why the sort of toucan's beak. I don't know. Right, the palm tree I am going to start by um, drawing on the trunk. I have no idea how to describe palm trees. So if I, I'm going to try and explain this as well as I can. And if I'm making no sense, just, just watch what I'm doing. So this was by complete and utter error that well, it was a fluke that I turned it into a palm tree because initially it was supposed to be a like a parasol on the beach and I was kind of turning it, it was supposed to be like one of those big brollies and I was thinking, no, this isn't the, quite the right shape. So I ended up turning, um, I don't know why I'm pointing at the nail as if you can see what I'm pointing at. Um, yeah, so I basically turned it, the, the, oh, I don't know. I don't know, so I kind of made... I want to say the branches, but are they branches or are they palms? I don't know. I'm just going to use my dotting tool to create some little things coming out of the things coming out of the palm tree. Does that make sense? <laughs> and that is our palm tree. Simple. <laughs> oh dear. So I'm going to kill that in the lamp. And I wanted to give it some. You can leave it like this. Um, like a, a silhouette, I was going to say stiletto, a silhouette of a palm tree, but I'm going to add some fairy flakes just to give the palm tree a bit of sparkle. 
So again, I'm using my glitter brush. I've cleaned off all the pigment. And I'm gonna dip it into my fairy flakes and then over the tacky layer of black gel polish. Now the, the fairy flakes are super nice on black because you get like, oh God, there's so many different colors going on in the fairy flakes. Um, you can't see it very well on this video and it, they, they do show up a lot nicer when it's top coated, but you can still see it better in real life. So that's them before I top coat. <clears throat> so we're just going to seal that gel polish in and the fairy flakes. So you still can't, it just gives, it does give it an amazing shimmer, but in real life, when you get up close, there are so many different colors going on in those fairy flakes. It's like magic. So I was trying to, I put the light on it so you could see it, but it, you still can't quite. Oh, they're so nice. I had a bit of glitter stuck on the end. I think it got stuck in the top coat. Never mind. So that is our palm tree nail. Ooh, perfect for summer. Um, if you did like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. <laughs> And um, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.